social gaming platform from Sony. Uh, we're in the uh, American Home Square. Um, you can have a quick wander around, give you a sense of the people who are here. Uh, this is uh, one of those generic areas where you can meet people when you first arrive. So you can get a sense of who you, who you want to meet, who you want to talk to, maybe meet your friends, uh, decide which games you want to play. Uh, while you're waiting for people to turn up, there are a few things you'll be able to do uh, just to keep your, your mind active. Uh, this is a remote control boat uh, we can play around with. So I can uh, accelerate and move my little boat around. And of course, yeah, it's just something to pass the time because as soon as someone else comes in and starts playing with the same remote control boats, uh, then it becomes a game in its own right. The point being that it's, it's all about having experiences that make you want to uh, feel like you've got something to do, share, uh, break the ice with people. You can see video, you can get a sense of what's going on, we can promote content that's coming up. But now I can also wander around and have a look at other areas. So I'm going to take you to a couple of areas um, that are related to content that was created by some of our partners. So actually, although they're uh, first party titles, the actual spaces were built by some external partners using our toolkit, our home development kit, which is available for people to use. So this is the, uh, the first of those spaces for Warhawk. Here we are in the Warhawk space. Uh, you can see there are a few people around. Uh, they, they look, look all ghostly at the moment because they're just trying to uh, pull up the, uh, the clothing for that character. In a few moments you'll see they'll all pop into, uh, into their full clothing. Uh, you see a bunch of people up, hanging around up here around the, the sand table. And if you look, you'll see um, this is a, a basically a map allowing you to plan your actions before you start playing Warhawk. So, you can get together with your team, decide how you're going to take the island, and job done. Um, so that's kind of centre space there. I'll take you to another space. So here you go. Um, if you played the game Uncharted, you'll, some of these objects will be very familiar to you. Um, here you go. A few people wandering around. Um, you can sit at the bar. You can also go and play some of the uh, the arcade games. So I can go and click on the arcade game. Oh, games are combined. See if I can find one that's not. There you go, there's the arcade game. Have a play on that. Uh, for this one, they decided they wanted something which is nice and retro. So you have a sense of, of uh, what's possible. A lot of this is an opportunity for the companies that work inside home to show off their games, show off their brands to maybe give the, 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 the players a little bit of insight on what's happened in creating that game. But then also to have a, be able to launch that, get those games and have a great time in those environments. So uh, there you go, there's the Smuggler's, uh, Smuggler's Den. Uh, watch out for the bear skin rug. And uh, you basically get a sense of what's going on. So uh, I'll take a seat. Hopefully that's giving you a bit of sense of what home's about.